you guys video slips here with a new uh, video by the way yes i am recording 60 fps today though we're talking about the mako the mako b 4.5 in this case how much in my opinion this thing could be much better um but it isn't unfortunately so if you don't know the Mako, it's from Squid. Squid Industries, one of the budget buy some. It retails for like around a hundred dollar. Of course, it depends if you get the ink blade or not. So it depends on that too. But uh, specs on this one is a channel aluminum uh, buy some 6061. Uh, it runs on washers. And it's a 410 E-treated steel for the blade. Uh, chamfer spine um, Pretty squared. It also comes with some like screws and pivots on the bottom to make some uh, weights for the handles So it is a little more uh, handle bias But I took him off um, Before just because I wanted to try it uh, And then I put him back on and then it was like mm, I need hardware for my uh, Custom wrap so I basically just uh, take him out and put them there and then i'm just start flipping this one and i like it a bunch without the weights even though it's a completely different balance and i don't think a lot of people like this um because it's like slightly blade bias um pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i really like the mako a lot like i'm a really big fan of the mako flipper. probably one of my favorite flippers actually Fuck. Mako is basically considered to be the entry level uh, aluminum bison, metal bison of Squid Industries, which it al has always been the entry bison because when it was a V3, V2, whatever, it was a sandwich construction and it was like the lower priced of the bunch. Um, why is the Mako not great? Mainly two reasons. Um, first one you can probably see, uh, it doesn't have a lot of details on the endos, especially on the side, it doesn't have any jimpings. It's a B-blast, but the grip is not that bad. But it can be slippery, especially if your ends are dry. I feel like this one, it is gonna feel slippery. But on top of that, you don't have any jimpings, which it will be a really fucking good um, upgrade for this. It does run on uh, washers, which is definitely not going to have the greatest tolerances, but it's fine. Uh, like, this is tap. I mean, that, that's play. This is tap. So, it does have tap and play, um, which is fine. It's not a big of a deal. Um, people make big of a deal out of tolerances. To me, it's not that great. You know, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Uh, the other problem with the Mako, the other main problem, the biggest problem with the Mako, besides the jimping and the grip, that can be a problem, but maybe not for anybody, maybe not in general, but a problem that is actually real and it's for everybody is the blade. Um, besides the fin, that can be a little annoying sometimes. The main problem with the blade is that the steel, it's not hardened um, and for that reason the blade bends if you beat this thing. Now you can't see it that much on mine, um, but you can see it's a little like twisted like towards that way. Um, but it was like twisted more that way and I twisted it back, it just bend it back. It was bent that way and I bend it back. So yeah, you can bend it back. Um, should you bend it back? No, I think Arden should be at least um, one of the must on a body song, the Arden steel blades, because don't get me wrong, you're probably not going to have that much problem. You can bend the blade back, but the blade, as you bend it back, of course, it's going to get weak because you're just bending it back and forth, so it's going to get weaker. Um, so I mean, I don't really have anything against the Mako, I don't really have anything against Squid, but I don't really understand why they don't want to give it a hardened blade. This thing is going to be much, much better with a hardened blade. You can actually beat the shit out of this thing. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to like snap in half, 
uh, over some time and I'm really sure that if that happens you can text and just go to squid and they're gonna get you another blade uh, maybe for a few bucks but they are really nice uh, customer services uh, they're really good I have some experience and they're really nice so yeah but you know still it shouldn't happen that much and I don't think I mean it probably is a something that is gonna cost more for them and something that is gonna make the price of the Mako higher but I honestly would pay more to see that changement in on the Mako most logical thing that I thought about the reason why they're not adding the blade on the Mako is because if they do so the existence of the Triton is completely uh, useless. The Triton is a Mako with different design, different balance, same materials, same systems and a Arden blade and that's it. That's the difference between the Mako and the Triton. Besides being different flippers when it comes to actual materials that the same but simply the Triton as a Arden blade um, which is much better because you can actually beat the, the Triton and it's probably not gonna have any problem with the blade bending and it sucks okay uh, I don't think the Triton should be uh, existing uh, the true main thing is that in my opinion the, the Mako should be up there instead of the Triton and that's for a really stupid simple reason which is the screws on the bottom because the bottom screws can give you the opportunity to change your balance from a slight handle bias to a slight blade bias and that's cool because you can have two different kind of flipping experiences in one body song without paying so much for a weight system because it's not too complex uh, and they in my opinion should do that or they can do that on the Triton putting the screws on the bottom the Triton doesn't have any screws the Triton doesn't have any press fit uh, weight so you cannot take off the weight from the handle unless you physically like machine the handle to. even the squid trainer has the press fit weights which I don't really understand because I mean what if you do the same thing right here or you do what if you do some kind of weight system that can change the balance of the bison and in that case it will be a lot cooler because there will be another main selling point on the squid trainer main you know point to solve the squid trainer is the balance it's really natural if you're really trying to get the best for the price you can literally get like a prisma or something like that if you're really looking at materials and construction and in my opinion doing the little weight thing on the squid trainer will be another big point to sell or they can just simply like delete the triton can just delete the triton and make this the and made it make it a lot better uh, like adding jimpings, iron blade and that's about it in my opinion it doesn't really need bushings or anything it just need the iron blade 100 percent and maybe some more like grip partner or stuff like that or uh the other main thing is making the mako really different from the triton and in order to do that they had to go back to the sandwich construction if they made the mako sandwich they hardened the blade and they do whatever else they want to do on the design the Mako now is going to be different than the Triton different construction and it's going to be simply just different so there is actually a reason for the Triton to exist to be a actual uh, low budget channel uh, trainer so yeah I just think I don't I'm not shitting on Squid I'm not saying that they're bad or anything um, the only thing that I'm saying is that in my opinion the, the Mako should be a lot better and it deserves better even because it's the most like different design from all screen industries line like this thing is really unique the blade is beautiful just the Mako it's really cool as a design itself and I just think that they should just do something more to make the Mako just a better body song yeah, that's my opinion that's my thought about the Mako and the Triton mostly uh, I haven't and I haven't flipped a Triton. I never flipped a Triton. I would like to, but I know it's like a blade. Oh fuck! I know it's like uh, handle bias. 
uh, which is fine. So, like, you know, I never flip a Triton. So, these are all based on reviews that you've seen about the Triton V2 and just about general things about the Mako and my just opinion in general. Mako, though, really cool flipper. Love the Mako. It's just really cool and I can flip. That's about it from this video. Oh, and by the way, the pin, it's falling off. Zen pin, it's kind of backing out. Kind of sucks. Thank you for watching. Sorry for not uploading too much. Also, YouTube doesn't recommend my videos, I think, as before. At least what used, as it, it was used to. So, it is what it is. Uh, it's 20 minutes long, so that's enough. So, bye guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.